like and subscribe right now, or else this will be in your bed tonight. r slash ask reddit by planet reddit. What are some very creepy facts? Female mummies in ancient Egypt were always more decomposed than their male counterparts. They discovered that this was because male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner than female bodies. Female bodies were kept at the family home until they started to decompose in order to avoid necrophilia at the embalmers. Well that escalated quickly. If reddit has taught me anything it's that necrophilia is inevitable. How could anyone possibly know this? When you happen to be murdered there is only an about 40% chance that your murderer will be found and punished. Edit. A lot of people are asking which country I'm referring to. This is a worldwide approximation. There are obviously countries with higher percentages of solved murder cases, but also some with even lower. For example in the US there is a 40% chance to get away with murder. In Mexico 90% to get away with it. Organized crime. The overall amount of crimes in that area and war plays a huge role in this. Thanks for the encouragement. Reach for the stars, buddy. 5 stars to be exact. One reason that crows and ravens are ever associated with death is because they would often follow armies as they march to battle. Being both carrion birds and extremely intelligent, they realized that a large group of armed men marching on one direction meant that there would be a tasty meal of corpses to eat soon afterwards. That's actually pretty neat. I'd like to subscribe to Crow Facts thanks. Thank you for subscribing to Crow Facts. Did you know that crows can speak English? Add in the amount of calories they need to stay airborne. And in addition to devouring acres upon acres of crops, they also cannibalize each other in the air. Serial killer Richard Chase took any unlocked door as an invitation to come inside. This is the example I use every time my husband keeps the door unlocked. In the US if someone is kidnapped and not found within about a day then there is a 97% chance the kidnapped person is dead. And 3 quarters of them are killed within the first 3 hours of their abduction. That's why it's so important to go the police right away, and for the cops to actually act immediately instead of waiting 2 4, 4 8, 7 2 hours. Edit. I'm not sure where that myth of wait x hours to notify the police came from. But I've heard so many missing persons cases where the police wouldn't act for a day or two unless there was serious evidence of foul play because they are an adult and it's not illegal for an adult to go missing. Or the teenager is with friends somewhere. Or they are a runaway. Children under the age of 12 always get priority. But older ones tend to come with excuses. Valuable time wasted leads to valuable lives wasted. Comma. Wow I must be special because the kids I've got are still alive. Men who are hanged get a death erection, known as rigor erectus. Pretty awkward for the family, I bet and do. This is the one time I'd advocate using hung instead of hanged. They said you were hung, and they were right. For women the labia fill with blood and become engorged, equal rights am right. Edit. Bruh thanks for the award someone spent money on my dumbass comment about bloody lady flaps. I'm honored. Crocodiles can gallop, like a horse. I don't like knowing this so I am cursing you people with this knowledge as well. Fortunately alligators cannot. So that's how you tell them apart. A black mamba is the fastest snake which can slither at a speed of 12.5 miles an hour, 20 kmhr. They have neurotoxins which are fast acting. The venom shuts down the nervous system and paralyzes the victim. Its venom is able to kill 10 people and it repeatedly bites. To add on to this. There is an almost 100% kill rate and can kill in 20 minutes. The rule I was taught was never to pick up a snake unless it didn't have a head. Also because Rink calls cobras. 1. They are not a true cobra. Their little uck sticks in a cobra jacket. 2. They are a spitting cobra. 3. These bastards vary in reaction. From throwing a hissy fit and spitting everywhere. To rolling over and playing dead. Then giving you a sharp bite as soon as you are close enough. Unpredictable little angry noodles. When I went on a safari, the guide had no problem driving by the family of lions, cougars, crazy hippos, everything else we saw. However, when he spotted a black mamba this incredible fear came over his face. The snake was right in the middle of the dirt road and he wouldn't even drive past it. We were in one of those open jeep safari things. The guide was so frightened that he just zoomed in reverse and got away so quickly. 
He said they can jump up in the car and do all kinds of crazy things. I don't know if that's true. But I know that he was genuinely afraid and we got out of that area so fast. There's a parasite that enters a fish's mouth. Eats the tongue and replaces itself as the fish's new tongue. As a fish, their eyes to cure and it sucks. I keep saying stuff I don't mean to say. Tarantulas can swim. I'm afraid to google this. I just did. Looked pretty cool. Ucker was huge. Sweats profusely. When creating the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland, they couldn't create skeletons that looked realistic enough, so they used real human skeletons they've since removed all of them except one. The skull that's over the bed is real. My favorite ride. Damn. That'd have been one of the last ones I guessed. It looks so weirdly elongated. I guess I'm used to fake skulls in movies and such so the real one looks off. If you live to age 70 you will have shed around 105 pounds of skin. Edit. Because most seem confused. I mean over time not all at once that would be terrible. Make sure to have a huge party and give a speech right before it happens. Like Bilbo before he put on the ring to freak everyone out. Ducks become cannibals due to boredom. Of all lucking reasons. They can only be stopped by cutting off their mouths. Don't duck with ducks. Quack is whack. It wasn't until 1987 that the American Academy of Pediatrics declared it unethical to operate on newborns without anesthesia, until surprisingly recently, the medical community felt it would be dangerous to give infants anesthesia and or believed that they didn't feel pain. Bostonglobe.com link. Thank god I was born in 1987. It was once discovered that a fir tree was growing inside a human body. Artem Sidorkin went to the doctors suspecting something wrong with his lungs. The doctors thought they were dealing with a tumor but turns out he had inhaled a fir tree seed which had sprouted and had begun growing in his lungs. Edit. Wow so Grey's Anatomy is a popular show. I'm sure this was the inspiration for that episode. He also had a watermelon and a gum tree in there. Cockroaches have been recorded eating human flesh both living and dead, as well as fingernails, eyelashes, feet, and hands. The American cockroach and German cockroach are more likely to bite humans than other species. Pretty sure Australian cockroaches do something equally creepy, but as an Australian who plans to sleep at some point in the future, I'm not going to google it. There are many studies that show they don't like human contact and will clean themselves rigorously if they touch us. Our skin is very oily and can suffocate the breathing holes in their carapace. So we are the creepy factor cockroaches. Nice. We're the creepy factor most life on earth. There was a speech made for Apollo 11 if they were to die on the moon. Side fact, if it were to happen, people would look up at the moon knowing that that crew died there, and their bodies would rest there till the end of time. Not forgetting that the ocean is somewhat like this. Many people died there too. At the very depths of the sea. Also, their bodies would not have decomposed because the moon has no oxygen. Instead they would become mummies. Ancient Egyptians hate him. People don't take their antimalarial drugs when they travel because they hear bad stories about the side effects and they see native people in the areas living okay without taking pills every day. The truth is, populations native to malaria endemic areas have all passed through pretty intense natural selection for survival and have a host of genes that prevent them from dying or suffering the other worst effects. Also, most of the resistance is built up over time. This is why it's most common for children to die rather than adults. Whatever people have heard about the side effects of the antimalarials, getting it is so much worse. I, fortunately, have never had it, but I study it as part of my work and people have told me about having it and they all say the same thing. It is so awful you can't believe you're even still alive. It comes in cycles, usually 48 hours, and each cycle is agonizing and brings you the brink of death. Sometimes it takes you, sometimes it spares you for another few hours until it starts again, and there are forms that, even if you clear the infection with drugs, it still remains dormant in your system and can come back at any time. Edit. I don't want to freak people out too much. There are drug combinations that can kill every stage of the parasite as long as there is no drug resistance. 
We lost our anti-malarial drugs for a period of 2 weeks when we visited India about 20 years ago. I was hospitalized with malaria 9 months after we came back. Edit. I need to clarify that I was hospitalized after being back in the US for 9 months. I spent a month in the hospital. Sorry for the confusion. It's quite common after you die to burp a lot as you have more gas build up. Dead bodies can also sit up on their own sometimes. Also if a pregnant lady dies sometimes the gas build up in the body as it decomposes forcefully pushes the baby out. Thanks I hate it. Mount Everest is covered in frozen corpses because removing them is very unsafe and time consuming. They are easily viewed from the climbing routes and some are used as trail markers. Turn up green boots. I'm simultaneously impressed and disturbed at the fact that I know exactly who you're talking about. What's odd is that although the bodies are prominent, in some cases there is no consensus on their identity. Like over the years two different people with a similar description didn't return from their Everest climb. And we know the body is probably one of them, but not sure which. Or is it more creepy that some of the bodies are indeed identified? And somewhere out there is a family who knows full well that their loved one's remains are a landmark on the world's most famous mountain? Most people smell different when they're awake. There are upwards of 300 active serial killers in the world. Seems low honestly. 300 is a lot but out of 8 billion? Famous last words though. Known to be active. Think about how many people go missing and are never found. The part that's insane to me is that people like BTK and Willie Picton were caught post 2000, but were active for a long time decades prior. To me that means there have to be some people out there today that have a high body count and haven't been caught yet. Imagine being totally aware of someone preforming CPR but you physically can't move or respond. Well that's what happens when you get bitten by a blue ringed octopus. You have approx 6 minutes between being bitten and someone starting CPR to keep your heart and lungs functioning to ensure you survive. All whilst being totally aware of what is happening to you. Neurotoxins are fun. The really creepy thing about this is one story of a guy who got stung. Got CPR performed on him and survived. But went blind because he was lying on his back. Eyes open. Unable to blink because of the paralysis. Staring into the sun. Imagine lying there, unable to move, unable to communicate, the sun slowly burning out your eyes and you can't shut them. Imagine lying there, unable to move, unable to communicate, the sun slowly burning out your eyes and you can't shut them. No, I don't think I will. Hearing is the last thing to go after you die. You just might hear the paramedics and firefighters call off CPR. You know. That's actually kinda nice. You know that if ever you have someone dying in your arms, they're hearing you as they die. You know comforting them is working. Unless they have hearing damage. Man that sucks. You might know that you are too far gone. And that you will die. Well if hearing is the last thing to go, your brain probably isn't doing much thinking about anything at that point. Dolphins are ucking monsters and although this one isn't as creepy as other comments but gangs of male dolphins can trap a female, slap her around with their tails, and forcibly uck her for weeks. Dolphins are ucked up man. They also kill calves so the female will become fertile faster. And they also practice killing calves by killing young porpoises and seals. Or maybe that's just for fun. The baby killing thing is the case in many mammals, in specific ape. I think it was a type of baboon. I can't recall the name ATM. If the dominant male is replaced, the females will usually all have spontaneous abortions of any fetuses they are currently pregnant with, because they know they will be killed by the new male anyway. Human brains when they dry out smell like cat piss that stinky ammonia smell. Worked in Anna for 17 years in CT. Had a gunshot to the head come in and a chunk fell onto my shoe and didn't notice. While driving home was like WTF did my cat piss in the car or something? Went to take my shoes off and there is was. Edit for all you people with morbid curiosity. Fresh brains look like cream cheese mixed with strawberry jam. Edit 2. No. They died. Trans life harvested organs. Hey buddy. I think you stepped in some brain matter. Join our community discord. Link in description. Sometimes an amber alert causes kidnappers to panic and kill the kid immediately. Edit. For those that don't know what an amber alert is. Amber alert OJP govlink. 
Wow this got way more attention than I expected. This is very rare and most of the time Amber Alerts are issued for kids taken by an estranged family member where the kid is in no danger. Amber Alerts have also saves hundreds of lives. For those that keep asking for a source. YouTube link. Sorry for bumming you all out. Half of your favorite 70s rock stars had 14 year old girlfriends. Equals 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 edit. Ro. I have been a redditor for over 8 years. My previous highest comment was less than 200 upvotes. And I finally get to say it. RIP inbox. Edit 2. Yes. I realize your favorite rock star might not have been be a pedo creep. But I was so disappointed to find out how many were. I hope society is moving past where this is seen as remotely okay. But then again people still work with Roman Polanski and he was actually convicted of drugging and raping a 13 year old. Uck him. 13 14 year olds are children. Protect children. Don't sexualize them. It's not that hard. Edit 3. Enjoying the artistic work of bad people is an interesting issue. I still listen to lots of the music in question. But I don't think I would if these were active artists and it was known. I wasn't alive in the 70s. And I certainly don't support them financially. Well, any more than Spotify plays. So I guess I do to some degree. In Polanski's case, I have seen some of his older movies. But never paid for one. I wouldn't support him financially in any way and I wouldn't watch anything he makes at this point. I think it was Aziz and Sari who had an interesting bit asking the audience who still listens to R. Kelly. Not a lot of hands. Then later in the set asked who still listens to Michael Jackson. Lots of hands and cheers. I think there is an issue of perceived guilt and also of artistic quality that plays into people's feelings. Regardless, I don't believe you should actively support known predators. Probably more than half. The stonefish. An incredibly venomous fish living in tropical waters mostly off the coast of Australia and parts of US. Can cause pain that only escalates with time. Eventually the pain will subside but even after the barb is removed. Patients have reported increasing pain 12 plus hours later. Without antivenom or denaturing the venom with excessive heat. The pain builds and builds until the patients request euthanasia. Its spines hold the venom. Hidden in its dorsal fins aboriginals living around the Great Barrier Reef have corroborates. Large gatherings. And will during these gatherings hold reenactment of people being stung by this monster. For what I behindum is either amusement, learning, or both. Edit. Corroboree clarification edit 2. Pain does eventually end. Reminded of tree where pain does not. Terrible leaves for toilet paper. Thank you for all the upvotes. So glad one of my parents horror stories from Australia is so well received. I can attest to this. I was scuba diving in the Galapagos through a discover scuba thing because I'm not actually certified. I was with a guide who explained what all the hand signals meant before we went on the dive. But when we went down. I obviously forgot everything because I was having a great time and he made a weird hand signal. And so I decided to stop swimming and put my hand on a piece of coat to stabilize myself. It was a stonefish and let me tell you. It hurts very bad. I'm honestly grateful I made it to the surface without passing out and spitting out the mouthpiece underwater. I did end up passing out on the boat back to the hospital and woke up with a nasty headache and still some pain in my hand. All I'm left with now is a scar and a cool story. Edit. This is my first comment that has ever blown up lol I will try to answer as many replies as possible. Sense of impending doom is an actual symptom that often precludes your death. Usually in cases of heart attack. Very creepy for some of us that suffer from anxiety and panic attacks to begin with. Both share that symptom. I have a heart condition. And sometimes I'll feel a weird beat. Then I will feel that horrible sense of impending doom. It is such a horrible feeling. Elmer McCurdy was a failed old west outlaw. His preserved body was put on display in a traveling carnival and years later he was eventually doomed to be mannequin until he was used on set for the TV show The Six Million Dollar Man. His arm accidentally fell off during the shoot, revealing bone and muscle and that he was a corpse, not a mannequin. The guy died in 1911, but it was only in 1976, 65 years later, that they discovered he wasn't a mannequin, but a petrified corpse covered in wax. This is creepy indeed. They used real corpses in the 1982 film Poltergeist, for the ending pool scene. The actress did not know until after the scene was filmed. 
not just poltergeist. But up until the last few decades actual skeletons and bodies were used in Hollywood production simply because it was cheaper than hiring prop guys to do it. Any old movie you watch, chances are the skeletons are real because you could saunter into any old medical supply store and buy a whole disused skeleton from a university medical department for a reasonable price. There's a spider that gives you a 3h long boner. Before you die from its bite edit, the boner it gives you is very painful. CNN has had a pre-recorded broadcast from the 90s which they will premiere during the end of the world. Some species of spiderlings eat their mothers alive. Can confirm. I ate my mother. Since 2007, at least 20 detached human feet have been found on the coasts of the Salish Sea. And then there's the hands with 27 pairs of them. Of course. Kira is the first comment on the post. From Atlas Obscura by Fuller, Furus, and Morton, Necropants, Reader's Discretion Advised, in Iceland, a long behind time ago, 17th C, friends followed complex rules to obtain a dead man's skin to turn them into pants, you had to get permission from the dude to use his skin after he kicked the bucket, you would then wait until burial formalities concluded, you would rob the shit out of your buddy's grave. You would cut the waist and peel the bottom half of the body off in one perfect flay. You would then steal a coin from a poor widow, preferably your butts. Place the coin in the scrotum of the necropants to attract cosmic shit, specifically more wealth in life, and leave the groin full of coins at all times. Pass that shit down to your kid. Fun fact. The Museum of Icelandic Sorcery and Witchcraft has a pair on display for all of us sickers to gawk at. Necropants had me laughing. But it was downhill from there. There are more creatures in your mouth than there are people on earth. There are more cells of foreign creatures in and on your body than there are of your own cells. Just to clarify, there were 2200 survivors. Just 300 of them were fit for work. The astronauts aboard the space shuttle Challenger most likely didn't die until they hit the water miles below the initial explosion. Astronaut and NASA-led accident investigator Robert Overmeyer said, I not only flew with D. Scobby, STS-51L commander, we owned a plane together, and I know Scob did everything he could to save his crew. Scob fought for any and every edge to survive. He flew that ship without wings all the way down. They were alive. Apostrophe. Pigs will eat anything. There are stories of pigs entering farmhouses and eating newborn humans. I like the fact that you say newborn humans instead of babies lol. Edit. Spelling. I once read that you should play dead if a bear attacks you. Unless they start licking your wounds because that means they plan to eat you. That still haunts me to this day. Edit. If it helps I'm pretty sure I was reading about grizzly bears at the time during one of my fevered grizzly man rabbit holes. If it's black fight back. If it's brown. Grizzly. Lie down. And if it's white, say goodnight. If it's panda, casual bystander. More than 7,000 people die annually due to the doctor's bad handwriting. The doctor needs to start typing or something. Ridiculous. Anything to do with parasitic wasps. I was thinking parasitic spores. Even creepier what hucking spores can do. In the Czech Republic. There is a church called the Sedlec Ossuary that has decorations made entirely of human bones. This happened because there were too many people in the cemetery to bury everyone. And the church leaders claimed that if their bones became part of the church, it only made them closer to God. Nice propaganda spin there, guys. Jeffrey Dahmer tried to make sex zombies out of some of his victims by drilling holes in their heads while they were still alive and pouring acid into the holes. That's not how you make zombies. Speaking of Dharma, I believe one of his victims, a 14 year old boy escaped from him naked and ran to a police station. As he was drugged and confused, the police returned him to Dharma. This is true. Dharma had actually injected acid into his skull and drugged him with sleeping pills. Yet he still escaped after Dharma fell asleep. Dharma convinced the police that they were lovers and that the victim was 19 and was drunk and they had had an argument. The boy was obviously still in a stupor and was only speaking Leo. Not only did the police walk Dharma and the boy back to Dharma's apartment, they actually noted a foul smell and went into the apartment to investigate. There was a rotting corpse in Dharma's bedroom and they simply did not look in there before leaving. 
the human body can be drained of blood in 8.6 seconds given adequate vacuuming systems. Not everyone can afford a Dyson. After raping his blindfolded victims, the Golden State Killer would be super duper quiet and pretend like he was gone and right when the poor victims would start to move towards the phone or try to untie themselves he would scare the ucking shit out of them. A bubble caused by false vacuum decay could be expanding through our galaxy right now, destroying everything it touches, and we wouldn't even know about it, because it travels at the speed of light. Edit. To all the people who I've given existential dread with this comment, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking of it as scary as much as just creepy, and as others have pointed out already, it's hypothetical at this point, so try not to work about it, colon. If we wouldn't even know it. What's there to be scared of? Thank you for supporting Planet Reddit. I love you. Subscribe for 3 videos a day.